Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today on the bench we have a customer repair which is this Hamilton National Jumbo 3 and we all know Jumbo 3s are fetching silly money on eBay at the moment but first don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon, have a look at my website all that good stuff and now a quick word from today's video sponsor PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide range of services including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and much more. PCBWay also offer a prototype PCB assembly service with component sourcing and online quote with 24 hour delivery services. PCB Way is committed to meeting all of your PCB needs. They offer quality, on-time delivery and competitive pricing. Want a two-layer board? Start at $5 with 24-hour turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting pcbway.com or click on the link below to check them out. So thanks PCB Way for sponsoring today's video. Uh, let's have a look at this Jumbo 3. So I'm not sure of the fault, so we're going to have to find the fault and rectify it together. But outside doesn't look too bad, but looks can be deceiving. So we've, we've powered it up and we're transmitting, and it seems to be transmitting all over the place. The VCO doesn't seem to be steady. It doesn't seem to be transmitting on any recognisable bands. Yeah, there's something strange going on. I'm transmitting on triple five there and it's not even receiving me, but it is receiving something somewhere. So I don't know where it's transmitting. I certainly don't know where it's receiving. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely sounding very unwell. I mean, the modes seem to work, but it just doesn't seem to be. We have got something coming through, but it's not. Anyway, we've got to receive, but it's not where it should be. So, it is doing something. It's not completely dead, but it's all over the show. And we're getting strange noises coming through as well, so... Oh well, I suppose we'll have to crack it open and see what's inside. So, immediately I see the power supply has been replaced with something. But that seems to be working, so we're not going to mess with that. Maybe this is some form of variable power supply with a potentiometer there. But that shouldn't be our issue. Let's have a look for the famous rotten tracks. Now first, the AVR capacitor looks like it's been changed. And the track is very, very, very rotten. But there's also a red wire link linking the rotted area out. So somebody's been in here and done all the, all the rot work on it. And looking at it closer, all the usual suspect capacitors have been changed and all the wire links have been done that normally rot. So that's a good start. So let's have a look at our VCO voltage. And as you can see, it's all over the show. Some bands are out of lock, some bands are in lock. It's definitely not right. And I try to adjust the VCO and we notice that the slug is completely smashed and it will not turn. Great. So we're going to have to deal with that as well. So I took the VCO out and I was hoping there'd be a hole in the bottom so I could unscrew it from the bottom, but there's not. So we'll have to make our own hole. So I've carefully drilled a hole through the bottom. If it wrecks the VCO, I'll just replace it. But we might as well try and keep the original VCO because it was working. 
and I've got a slug from another VCO it's a bit sloppy so we'll have to pull a little bit of wax on that once we tune it but we've got it going so VCO is back in the radio let's see if it behaves itself now and we got some lock all over the place it seems to be behaving a bit better now a little bit twitchy due to that core being a little bit loose but once we've set it we'll put some beeswax in just to hold it in place not candle wax like some people like to do but after a little bit of adjustment a little bit of fine adjustment going up and down the bands We seem to have something that resembles a good VCO frequency, or should we say a good VCO voltage, across all the bands. A little bit finicky to adjust, but we'll do the final adjustment once we actually get the radio working. But yeah, just checking all extremities, and I think we've got it. I think we've got it into a workable condition, except when it shoots up to 5.6 again. Let's have a look at the frequencies. So we should have started off on 26.965, but it didn't. It starts off on 9.73 and goes up in some strange increments. So after a a chat with Steph at hamintonational.eu we've come to the conclusion that this HC806 unit is at fault and luckily he makes them two weeks later and in the post we have a card from Steph and we have his replacement HC806 so this HC806 unit does all the channel inversions, it controls the 10kc. Basically it's the Ham International 3 range sec uh, secret source, should we say. God knows why they inverted the channels, but who knows. So as you can see we've got 964, 7484, jumping over the split channel. We're working good there now. So we'll just check the plus 10 KC, and that's working. So let's give this radio an align and give it a test. Right, Damo, you got a copy on this? Yeah, do you want to just give us a quick audio report for the channel because um, this will be um, this will be on the channel. Smashing, thanks a lot, Damo. Oh, that's great. You're not sounding too bad yourself, old man. Cheers, Graham. Many thanks, my friend. So, after replacement to the HC806, we did a full alignment, and as you can hear, we got a good radio report from one of my locals. Thank you, Damo. Much appreciated. And everything seems to be working okay now. So, yeah, it's um. There is no replacement for that HC806 apart from Steph's version, so it's you know it's lucky that he's actually making them, or else it would have been terminal for this radio. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, join the Facebook group, join Patreon, have a look at my website, and we'll see you in the next video.